Hello friends, uh, breaking news uh, from Iceland. Today uh, is uh, November 12th, uh, almost at 9 o'clock in the evening now. Uh, there came uh, breaking news from Grindavik city which had been evacuated. Uh, they found now a fissure running through the city. We will use Google Translate uh, to translate this article. Uh, this article It translates as a sickle, but <laughs> it's a Google Translate. Uh, don't uh, misunderstand it. So uh, here we can read that one, deep, one meter deep uh, fissure it translates sinkhole, has formed through Grindavik city and the subsidence continued today. So it's quite clear that magma has reached a very shallow depths under the town. This is what Torvaldur Torlesson, professor of volcanology at the University of Iceland says in interview with the morning newspaper. He says that there is a possibility that there will be volcanic eruption inside Grindavik. It will probably be in the fish you that has formed this goes through some of the houses at least through the school of Grindavik says Thorvaldur. Uh, Professor Thorvaldur Thorvaldur says that there is still a possibility of eruption further north in Sudnuka crater series as well. A fish you has formed uh, when magma arises uh, at a very shallow depth and it is very close to the surface he explains. However, it is difficult to estimate how close the magma is to the surface. Last night it was at up to 800 meters, so it's quite a bit shallower now. It could be a few tens of meters into it. However, we will have to wait for temperature measurements in the area to assess the proximity. Thorvaldur says the fissure was discovered today during photography and mapping. People just haven't noticed it, he says, adding that scientists haven't been looking from far enough away to spot it. So, here you see uh, the line by which we have um, Magma Goen, the dike, which extends for 15 kilometers uh, along this orange line, uh, which aligns with ancient uh, crater, or call it the craters of Sundanuk. Sundnukar craters, Gigar means crater in Icelandic. Thorbjörn's volcano, subglacial cone is here uh, to the middle of the picture, and the blue lagoon, the smoke, is um, uh, further to the right. So, this is what is happening right now. And they also say if there was an eruption in the town, the weight of the lava flow would be more to the west and to the sea, and then to the sea. But something always goes the other way, says Thorvaldur. It is very difficult to determine anything about time. It could be a few minutes, or it might stop and the magma doesn't come up. So we shouldn't exclude also the scenario of no eruption according to Thorvaldur. Perhaps the magma doesn't have enough power to make it all the way to the surface. He says that as more time passes there is no eruption, the probability of an eruption inside the town decreases. So time will show if uh, we, there is no eruption during a significant period of time, li very likely that we won't see a volcanic eruption in this area. So there is still a good um, scenario out there. The possibility that the development will take place is therefore there, or that the eruption occurs further north in the Sundnuka crater uh, series. But the event may repeat itself later. This may happen any again in the future. We have had five interceptions in four years. I don't think that the trend has stopped and could continue for even a decade or so. An event like this could potentially happen again. So let's see uh, with the time what happens. Time will show if we will have eruption or not. But the fact that uh, the long crack opened it up, this long fissure subsidence of earth which runs through the city of Grindavik is alarming of course. And as we know magma is very close to the surface, 800 meters, but it can be also a few tens of meters as well. Here you see the pictures of this fissure that formed up subsidence fissure that is running uh, through the city that had been discovered uh, tonight. 
you see I had another picture here and here it's also visible you see it's running straight through the city straight through the town along this uh, magma dike that is uh, running through the city as well so magma can be very close to the surface here so this house might be right uh, on the fissure uh, right on the eruption site if it happens here and if it happens here the entire city will be destroyed definitely let's hope not but this is what have been found uh, tonight and um, and it's running straight through the city And this is the golf club of Grindavik City. You see uh, what happened after the earthquakes. Uh, we had another fault or fissure forming up uh, as a result of uh, the divergence in that area, tectonic divergence. All the earthquakes in Iceland are caused by the tectonic movement. All the volcanic eruptions are caused by the movement of tectonic plates, which is especially active in this area. That's what is all triggering this thing but you see the damage what had been done to the golf club golf course uh, during the recent earthquakes in Grindavik city which is very sad of course well, let's see the damage which has been done in the city during the past earthquakes which uh, shook the town pretty bad this is a video by some amateur Photography visitor to Grindavik, maybe the local resident. Dagar 11. November, this er is the Grindavik. It's a little bit of here. The road cracked completely as you see. It's right in the city center and it's smoking. smoking as you saw uh, here you see um, a road map from the road authorities and as you see all roads to Grindavik had been closed uh, why because if there is volcanic eruption such powerful eruption we will have a, a lot of volcanic emission this is not this will not be a safe eruption as in Fagadilsvet also due to the presence of groundwater in the area and if it will be several times more powerful than Fagel Svet 2021, we will have enormous amounts of uh, of gases, all kind of gases, which will be very poisonous. And if it happens in the sea, there will be a lot of ash, which uh, this will disrupt uh, the air traffic uh, in the area. So it depends, it all depends uh, where it will happen, because the dike extends also in the sea. So as you see, we can't access the eruption site, even if I would like to film it, all the roads from all access points had been closed. And it closed at a significant distance from Grindavik, like 15 kilometers distance from each direction, and you can't really drive there. People couldn't even get their goods in the city, those who had been evacuated, they have difficulties in coming to obtain the goods uh, from their houses. So. And this is another news from Iceland.